this is Stumpy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Minecraft Story Mode. In the last episode, I... Well, tell you what, if you didn't see the last episode, go and watch the last episode first, because otherwise, <laughs> I always spend the beginning of the episodes, like, explaining what happened. Well, I, give, I guess I'll give you a quick reminder, in case you did see the, uh, the last episode, but it's been a, a little while since you saw it. So basically, we made our way through, you know, that big maze... And we came to here and we met Olivia and uh, Rubens here. And we're trying to get across the big chasm uh, to go and get to Ivor's secret lab, which is uh, apparently in or under that castle. Uh, we're in the Far Lands and I need to go and try and make this uh, this contraption work. So let's do that then, shall we? But first, uh, let's go and say hello to our favourite pig, Reuben. She's going to be just fine. Sometimes people just need a pep talk. And I did give a very good pep talk. Right, let's go and let's go and get some work done then. So I needed to make a sticky piston and a redstone block, I believe. So uh, let's go and get my craft on. So sticky pistons are easy. Now uh, you don't even need a crafting table. It's just a piston uh, and then a slime block. And then you merge them together and voila, a sticky piston. I bet you didn't know you're going to get a redstone lesson today. Then again, I'm sure pretty much every single one of you knew how to make that anyway. Right then, uh, we now need to go and make ourselves a, a redstone block. And I reckon that this would actually work in real Minecraft. I don't know, maybe I should uh, I should test it out. I have everything I need to test it out, so uh, maybe I could uh, give it a go and uh, see whether this could actually work. And then where do I put it? Should I just uh, give it to Olivia? Hey, Olivia. You put the block and piston on the bar yet? No. Well, this thing won't start without them. Then I'll get right on it. Okay, well that's answered that uh, that question. So, do I put it put them on here? Maybe. I pressed use okay, on it. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Oh no! It's gonna make me choose where they go. Um, redstone. Oh no. Okay, I don't think it is. I think I think it's just gonna place them now. Okay, that's good. Because <laughs> I was feeling all proud of myself for crafting what I needed to craft, but I have no idea where they're supposed to go. Is that it? Is that it done? I... You know what? I don't think she did anything. She just sat on the floor and twiddled her thumbs, and then I did the work. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. <laughs> So apparently we need flint and steel. This way. Run! Oh look, it's the rest of the gang. Perfect timing. Actually, they're being followed. Right, let's Everybody get on. Everybody get on. Quick, onto the barge. That's a lot of zombies. But, but, oh, oh, I got flint and steel, don't I? Duh. <laughs> All right, well, that's got that started. Um, I better catch up or else I'm going to fall behind. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Or grab on, whatever. There we go. Jump and grab on. There we go. <laughs> Both together. Why is the boat so big? That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make fun of him. No, Just no, fun. I'm positive. I'm afraid of flying too, Soren. R really? Ah. No, not really. Just wanted to see if you'd bite. <laughs> I know that was mean, but <laughs> I never normally go for the silly options. And I just wanted to, to see what I'd say. And it's okay. We made it to the other side. And hopefully Soren's a, a little bit braver now. He faced his fear. Even though he was scared of it, he still did it. And that's more uh, impressive than not exciting, being scared at all. I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. At least we made it. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. All right, let's go into Ivor's cottage. Ooh, some never quartz. An iron door with handles. You don't normally see iron doors with handles, do you now? <laughs> There's a Minecraft story mode exclusive for you. And ooh, and whatever block that is. This is really familiar uh, with uh, what was under the um, uh, the the convention at the uh, at the uh, the beginning of the uh, the first episode. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. Oh, it's not an enchanted book. It's an enchanting book. Okay, well, I guess we're still going to be using it for enchanting. And you know what? I can't even be bothered to talk to anyone. Let's just, let's just ignore. I think I'm supposed to go through and talk to everyone at this point, but I'm just going to go and try and find the book. <laughs> we have a world to save here. Uh, right, is it in the chest? This is the obvious place to look. I don't think it will be there because it's like too obvious. Wood planks, those will be useful. Ah, 
So earlier I found cobblestone in a chest and now I found some wooden planks. If I made the planks into sticks, I could make a lever. Oh, that's what I reckon I've got to do. Do you reckon there's somewhere I need to place a lever to open it up? Ooh, there's a hole. I think I might have worked it out. <laughs> Let's try and use the crafting table. would have a crafting table. It does. Can I can I use it? Makes sense that Ivor would have a crafting table. Oh, come on, let the crafting table. Let me use the crafting table. Can I use wooden planks on it? Why wouldn't it let me use? I'm so I was sure that I'd have to use a lever in the hole to then open this up, but it's, it's just not letting me use the crafting table. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. Yes, I'd already worked that out. Don't you pretend like you worked it out. So now is it going to let me use the crafting table? Oh, now it lets me use the crafting table. <laughs> Why didn't it let me? See, this is the kind of like, this is the thing that gets me frustrated with games like this. Like, I think they're really good for storytelling. But in terms of gameplay, like, like the crafting table was there. I had solved the puzzle, but like it didn't let me do it until I had like a little conversation. But it doesn't matter. The game is now allowing me to use a crafting table. I think it just seems weird because like Minecraft is probably like the most free game that you can get. Like you can do whatever you want, like whenever you want in Minecraft. You know, there's nothing to kind of guide you apart from like, you know, your own imagination and, you know, the basic limitations of the, the game. And then this game is like the ultimate restriction in terms of what you can and can't do and where you can go. So it's, I don't know, it is a little bit jarring. I guess the, I guess the thing is, is that because it looks so much like Minecraft, you kind of expect it to be like Minecraft. But really, it's just a completely different game, you know, with the Minecraft style and, you know, taking a few elements from Minecraft. So I guess that I should probably kind of think of it more as just a completely separate game, you know, rather than like, you know, the story mode of Minecraft, which is what it's called. <laughs> anyway, though, I think I've done it. I think I've made the, the lever. And so I guess I just place it here. And my guess is, is that this like lava fireplace is going to go and kind of open up. And then we can get through to the, the other side and hopefully uh, make our way into Ivor's laboratory. All right, let's, uh, let's give it a pull. It's weird because when I put it down, it lit up the redstone anyway. So is that going to like switch the redstone off? Because the redstone was off. See what I mean? It's kind of like not sticking to, to real Minecraft logic. Like the redstone like, was lit up and I pulled the lever down and it's still lit up. But the, uh, the fireplace opened. A <laughs> secret passageway. Why would you build a secret passage in a house nobody ever visits? More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. That is very true. Like, that is like the ultimate dream, is to have like a secret passageway in your own house. You know, like to pull down a lever or, you know, pull out a book. And oh no! Oh no, we got spit up! Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there! We'll head down and see what we can find! Right, looks like I'm getting some quality time with uh, Soren and Ruben then. The group is getting really split up at the moment, isn't it? Kind of everyone's, Whoa. you know, split off into their what little is groups. All this? Ha! Incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! Gathered what exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Is that like a, a sea lantern? Stories I could tell about a these dusty here old and an things. ender dragon egg? I don't see any enchanting books though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. Okay, looks like we got another puzzle. The puzzles are probably a uh... Uh, one of the uh, my favourite parts of the uh, of the game. This place is cool though. This is mysterious. So these are basically, I guess, things that he's collected uh, from all of his time in the the Order of the Stone. So I guess these are all from different adventures. So there's some packed ice here. Uh, there's a uh, uh, prismarine shard. Uh, is this a sea lantern? Yeah, a sea lantern there. Uh, a ghast here, and of course pride of place the ender dragon egg and it seems like there's uh, some more corridors down here as well and oh why can't i is there a wall there 
I think there's just like an invisible wall. This is exactly what I was talking about. Like, there's just, okay, there's just a wall. You just can't go there. There's no reason why he couldn't go there. But it's just like, nope, can't go this way. <laughs> I guess it's a, it's a good way to keep me focused on the puzzle at hand. Because if I could wander anywhere, I guess I'd have probably wandered off for miles and kind of forgot about the puzzle by now. All uh, right then. So my guess is it's going to have something to do with these items. And I'll be honest, I'll hold my hands up. I have zero idea what a prismarine shard is. I know you get it from uh, the sea temples, don't you? But yeah, I don't know what it is or what it does. So <laughs> this is going to be a learning experience for me, maybe. Prismarine crystals? You've got to be kidding me. Prismarine shard, actually. Thank you very much. <laughs> I guess it's a, a shard of crystal. crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Oh, okay. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item. We might need it to unlock that door. Mm, very well. Just be careful with it. I've noticed something. Oh, see? I noticed something a bit more obvious now as well. <laughs> I just noticed before he picked it up. Yeah, it's on a pressure plate. So do you reckon I got to pick up all of the the items? Yeah, look, they're all on pressure plates, I think. And so yeah, I guess prismarine shards uh, are kind of a bit like glowstone dust, but for sea lanterns. I think those are gas tears. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours. And these tears were our reward. Wow. Just gotta borrow this. It is a bit weird that it's a tear. You never really think about what it actually is. You know, a ghast was crying and you pick up its tear. It is quite strange, isn't it? So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the ice plane spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. I think we went through one of those biomes on the, the way here, didn't we? With all the uh, the giant ice shards. Am I crazy or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. Oh, we were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? Okay, and so I guess the uh, the last thing uh, for me to pick up is the uh, the dragon egg. And I want to be careful with this. Ooh! I wonder if we could defeat the wither spawn by spawning another dragon and training it to be good. Nah, that's probably a little bit too ludicrous <laughs> and take too long, but just a thought. Sorry, is this the actual ender dragon egg? Huh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Aha! I knew it! Well, I didn't know that was going to open, but I knew something would open. Aha! Uh -huh, a hopper! Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Hmm, okay. Looks like the puzzle is not solved yet. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Right, let's look at this and let's try and work out what this is. Ooh! I think I need to put these in order of, you know, when they completed them. So the Ender Dragon, I reckon, will be number five. And I said they said about the, um... I think, that, I think there's one of them... Oh, I think that Pact Ice will be number four, because they said about how they knew they were ready for the dragon afterwards. And then they used the, the shards to make the ice. So I reckon it's going to be, like, shard, then ice, and then ghast here first. That's what my guess is. So let's see if I can... Let's see if I can hmm, use it, and if that's slots. right. I probably had to listen a little bit better, so I reckon Ender Dragon Egg goes in number five. Ender Dragon Egg, so cool. And then Let's it was the um, here. it was the packed ice because they said after going through the cold area, we were ready ice. to face the dragon. Let's put it here. And this is the only bit that I wasn't so sure of. I think it's Ghast here at number one. Ghast tears. Let's try them here. I think they said about like, oh, I was so green, uh, and then I think it's the uh, the Prismarine Shard Prism is here. Because you need the shards to make the sea lantern. So I reckon the sea lantern should come after it. So I think that's the, the order in which they did the, the missions. Hey, yes. I solved it. <laughs> you solved it? 
But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. Everything I needed was in your stories. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. That was quite a cool puzzle, to be honest. I reckon that if I spoke to him again, he would have kind of reminded me that stuff. Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Ah, oh, this is cool. Is it going to be another puzzle? I love these puzzles. Mm, no way out. All right. Okay, looks like we've got another puzzle to work out. So we got we got these banners. One with TNT on. Uh, one with a bow and arrow on. And these ones we have redstone and a diamond sword. Oh. Have you got it? Have you worked it out? Do you? I bet you do. Do you not yet? I'll give you a few more seconds to work it out if you haven't already. Okay, I'm just going to tell you. So, I think each of these banners represents one of the Order of the Stone. So, that's Gabriel, the uh, the warrior. And then we got uh, Magnus, who was the uh, the explosive expert. And I'm uh, rocking his uh, his lovely armor here. And then we got Eligard for Redstone. And then, is that Sorin, the bow and arrow? Or Ivor? Or was Ivor in the middle? There doesn't seem to be enough, because Ivor should have one as well, shouldn't he? But maybe that's supposed to be Sorin then? Or maybe, hmm, that's the only thing that's confusing me. That's what I reckon it's about, but I still don't know, like, I think I know what they mean, but I still don't know what I'm supposed to do. So let's uh, speak to Sorin and uh, see if he can give me some clues. Because I reckon it's going to be to do with how they battled the Ender Dragon. Like, I reckon these are all tests to so that only people from the Order of the Stone can get through here. That's what I reckon this is. So let's speak to, to Sorin and see if he can give us uh, any clues uh, in terms of what I'm supposed to do here. Sorin, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. And these are supposed to be the Ender Crystals? Scale models of them. They were the secret to the dragon's demise. The secret, huh? Maybe you should tell me the whole story. Ha, huh. if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shotgun of Magnus' TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. That was absolutely amazing. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. I have a strong feeling that so it will. Sorin rode the dragon, huh? Okay, so were you taking notes? <laughs> have you worked out the uh, the solution to the puzzle? What well, I don't understand, if Sorin is the super brainy one, like everyone says he is, why is he not working out the puzzles? All he's doing is staring at a wall, and I'm working them all out myself. <laughs> right then, so it started uh, with him firing an arrow. So I reckon I gotta go and press that button first. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, very interesting. And then Magnus blasted him up with some TNT. So I reckon it's gonna be this button next. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> and then, uh, Eligard, like, used the redstone to, like, launch a load of arrows from dispensers. So I think that one next. Hmm, interesting. And then it was Gabriel's famous final blow. Let's press this button and... 
Hmm. Uh -huh. Interesting. There's another door? Oh, okay. We're not done yet. <laughs> One door down, uh, one door to go. Let's go say hello to Ruben. I've neglected Ruben horribly, haven't I, so far? Ruben, do you know what to do here? Uh, oh. uh well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> yep, that was just about as useful as I thought it would be, but... <laughs> um, uh, yeah, at least I got to go and check on him. So, is there anything else? Is there anything else I can do? Um... Like, that should be everything. I mean, I'm sure I could speak to, to Soren and he's going to go and uh, maybe help me uh, know what I need to do next. Let's just go and check this door quick. Uh, let me... Can I see? Um, okay, I guess I can't look at the door. I can't look at anything over there, really. <laughs> Uh, but it doesn't matter. So, uh, as you can probably see, we have just about run out of time in this episode, though. I really enjoyed this, though. I love these puzzles. These puzzles are really, really good fun. Like, they're not very tricky, and they're all kind of pretty easy to, to work out. I don't know, but you do uh, still feel good uh, once you have uh, worked out uh, what it is that you're uh, supposed to do. So, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this episode uh, as much as I did uh, uh, recording it and making it for you. And, uh, of course, uh, you will find in the description uh, a link to the next episode of Minecraft Story Mode as soon as I have uploaded it for you. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!